Miss Karen English teacher presents Match the Cards. Get up off the couch, pick up the little pouch, open it and take out the cards that are inside. Place the questions on the left, all in a row and place the answers that match right beside. Ten questions, ten answers, let's match them together. Let's have some fun. Teacher. Today we're going to play a game called Match the Cards. Let's learn items in a washroom and how to ask and answer questions in English. But first, let's look at the scene. Here we are. We're in a washroom. Look at that. We're going to learn the names of many items here. Let's begin here. This is a sink. It's shaped like a rectangle. Here's toothpaste, dental floss, shampoo, toilet paper, a toothbrush, a shower curtain. This is the shower. Here's the bathtub, soap, a washcloth, cotton swabs, a razor blade, a towel, a toilet, a bathroom scale. Inside this pouch, there used to be all these questions and answers. Our job is to match the questions doo -doo 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 -doo, with the answers. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Let's start with number one. What color is that towel? Well, if you remember, the towel is green. So let's see if we can find the answer to that question. Do you see it anywhere? That towel is green. Here it is. Let's put that one right over here. Doink! What's the next one? Where is my toothbrush? Well, you remember where the toothbrush is? Right there. Look at that. It's inside the toilet paper roll. Let's see if we can find an answer that matches where is my toothbrush. Hmm, see it? I do. It's right there. It's inside the toilet paper roll. So that goes over here. Boink! Is the sink a rectangular shape? Is the sink a rectangular shape? Looks like a rectangle to me. Let's see if we can find the answer that goes with that. Do you see it? Yes, it is a rectangular shape. Let's put that over here. Wow, we're doing great so far. How many razors and cotton swabs do you see? How many? I see two cotton swabs and one razor. Let's go here. Do you see the answer? That's right. There it is. I see one razor and two cotton swabs. That goes right there. Where is the washcloth? Where is the washcloth? Was it over here? No. There it is. It's blue. And it's under the soap. 
Do you see that? Look. It's right there. It's under the soap. Under. Under the soap. Do you see flowers on the shower curtain? Uh, yeah. I think I do. I think I see lots of flowers. Let's see if we can find the answer that says, yes, I do. Here it is. Yes, I do. Here's another question. Where is the scale? Where is the scale? Let's look. Do you see an answer that could match that? The scale is there, and it's beside the toilet. It's beside the toilet. Here's the answer. Let's put that there. Let's move this over now. Got to move everything a little bit to the right. And you know what a scale is, right guys? Scale is something that you can stand on and you can see how much you weigh. That's 109 pounds. Well, 109.6. That's almost 110 pounds. Most times the weight doesn't matter too much. What's important is that you're healthy. And you can run places and jump and do jumping jacks. How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you brush your teeth? Here it says, I brush my teeth. So I think that's going to be the answer. But let's read the rest to make sure. I brush my teeth twice a day in the morning and at night. That looks like it's going to go there. How often? Twice a day. Can you see the dental floss and toothpaste? Well, we have two answers left. Do you think it's this? Yes, I did. No. Do you think it's this? Yes, I can. They're right over there. Dental floss, toothpaste. Let's put that over here. And the last one says, did you use shampoo to wash your hair? And it says, yes, I did. Yeah, that makes sense. That seems like a good answer. Oh boy, congratulations. You just matched 10 questions with 10 answers. Now you're ready to make your own game. All you need is some cut up cards like this. These are old cereal boxes or Kleenex boxes. And then on the side, you just write the question here and on this one, you write the answer. If you want to, you can make your own memory game simply by turning them all upside down and moving them all around. And when you're with a friend, you take turns picking them up. So let's say I picked up these two. I would see, do they match? If they don't, I turn them back upside down. And if they do match, I get to keep them and I get to go again. If you want more practice, you can simply go to MissKarenEnglishTeacher.com where you can learn how to play a memory game and how to create your own memory game. And you can also practice all these questions and answers over again. If you ever want to contact Miss Karen, simply go to Miss Karen English Teacher at gmail.com. I love getting letters from my students. Thanks for watching Match the Cards. I hope you had fun. Bye bye for now. Woohoo! Miss Karen's spontaneous mini song. Everybody get up, it's time to move. Smile with your classmates, it's time to groove. You are the boss when it comes to your mood. So choose ooh, 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 a happy attitude. Hooray, hooray, hooray. You did your best and you succeeded. Hooray.
sit in silence, please. <laughs> 